All right, how do I ban this guy? It's these people and their adult dating sites. Okay. Uh, okay, so it was... Oh, it was another Stein. Okay. Sorry, my point's probably wondering what I'm doing. I was too busy banning this guy for posting messages about adult dating sites. Ah, uh, speaking of which, I, uh, I, ha I have a girlfriend now. She's, she's very, very beautiful. Uh, <laughs> I know, that's, that's kind of like a weird transition. Best adult dating sites. Oh, by the way. But yeah, I tell you guys, you gotta come over to Southeast Asia. Like, the girls just love foreigners here. They really do. It is like, uh, I don't really know how to describe it, I guess. But let me put it to you this way. As someone who lived in America for 99% of my life and now lives in Southeast Asia, it is so much easier to date here than it was in America. Like, in my opinion, and this isn't... Don't, people are going to take us the wrong way. I'm not trying to, like, talk shit about, like, American women. But, like, dating culture in America, in my opinion, is worse. It's worse on both sides. Because keep in mind, you know, I've seen the other side, too. Like, my mom had to date for, like, 10 years before she you know, got remarried. And it was hard. It was really hard for her. She had to go through, um, you know, a lot of shitty guys to get there. And it was kind of, I sort of had the same experience when I was in America. Um, the people, I don't know. Uh, people, I guess I would say, one, they're just a lot more picky. Like, I feel like this idea of, like, having a soulmate is a very toxic mentality because it's like, oh, if I don't meet someone who is, like, 100% perfect, then, like, I've failed, you know? And, and I feel like that's not true. Like, there's no perfect person for you out there. Like, everyone is imperfect. Um, it's just... You have to find someone whose flaws you can accept, if you know what I mean. Hopefully that makes sense. That That's kind of my philosophy, at least. That, like, you're not going to find someone who's absolutely perfect, because perfect people don't exist. But, that, but, like, when I talk to other people about their dating life or whatever, they act like they're trying to find the perfect person. Like, they have a checklist of things. Like, oh, if they don't satisfy all ten of these things, then, like, they're not the right person for me. And obviously it's good to have standards, but, like, you can't have, like, unrealistic standards. You have to realize what matters. Like, some people I talk to, they're like, oh, the other person has to listen to the same kind of music as me. And it's like, that doesn't really matter. Or, like, probably the more recent example in America is like, oh, they have to be in the same political party as me. That doesn't really matter. Or, oh, they have to be the same religion as me. Um, I don't, I mean, I think that can matter, but not as much as people think it does. You know, just or even in weird things like, oh, the other person, like, has to be into gaming. Like, it, it's funny. I, you know, I had my the last roommate that I had back in America. She was, you know, a girl. And she said, oh, you should try to, like, find someone who's, like, really into gaming. And I'm like, are you freaking nuts? Like, why would that possibly matter? If I, if I find, uh... You know, if I'm trying to look for women who's like who are who are only into gaming, that like eliminates like ninety percent of the dating pool. Why would I? Why would I possibly do that? You know, so to me, like none of those things like really matter. You know, like if I'm into gaming and programming, and she's into I don't know yoga and horseback riding or something, that's like totally fine with me because none of that stuff matters. You know, like, you can have a good relationship with someone, even if you don't have a lot in common. You know, as long as you treat each other with respect, you know, you're caring, you're a good person. Like, that's that's what matters. It's it's not about opposites attract. Like, it, it's it's not about that either. You just have to understand, like, what matters and what doesn't. Like, I would rather be with... And believe me, I've experienced the other side of this. Like, my sort of the, like, my second, like, sort of long-term relationship, 
I met her playing Magic the Gathering, right? Like, I literally met her at my FNM. And, like, it was not a good relationship at all. Um, you know, so that just goes to... Sh but it could go, like, either way. I mean, the, the girl that I'm dating now, it sounds like she kind of is into gaming. Not, like, super hardcore gaming, but, like, casual mobile gaming type stuff. Um... Which is fine, you know, maybe we'll find a game that we both like, and that's something that we can enjoy together. Um, but if not, that's fine too. Like, again, what I'm trying to say is, like, you have to understand, like, what what, what matters and what doesn't. So yeah, that, that's kind of my point. Like, you know, like, having common interests or whatever is a plus, but, like, what matters is, like, are they a good person? You know, are... are are they, in the sense that, like, when I say good person, I don't mean, like, oh, they donate to charity or something. I mean good in the sense that, like, they're good at relationships. Like, just like playing Yu-Gi-Oh! is a skill, relationships are a skill. Like, they, they really are. And and that's something that I realized. You know, I, I do look back and realize that I made some mistakes. But it's like, it's like everything else. You know, the more you do it, the, the better you get at it. The more experience you get. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, just finding a person who treats others well, is caring and compassionate, that's, that's what really matters. That, that, that's honestly what I think really matters. But yeah, I kind of went off on, like, a weird tangent. 